Hello, my name is Adam and I'm with iPro Americas. Today I wanted to do a short video about the ActiveGuard plugin within the Video Insight VMS. We'll go through quickly the UI and kind of how to navigate that as well as all the different search functionality. So when you log into Video Insight, you're going to see the ActiveGuard search plugin. So click that button, it'll take you into the ActiveGuard plugin and you'll see lots of different search options here like people, vehicle, face, and LPR. Let's start with people. So when you click on the arrow, you'll see all the different attributes searching that you can use, like gender, age, hair type and color, top and bottom types and colors, uh, sunglasses or not, beard or not, mask or not, bag or not, uh, colors of the bag and also colors of the shoes and also moving direction. If we just do a search on people, it's going to go out and grab all of the thumbnails of people that that analytic uh, picked up. And so these are all the people that we saw uh, with no filters. So now let's do a search for a uh, male with a black short sleeve shirt uh, because we have a lot of those uh, wearing this type of shirt with iPro. Um, so we'll see what comes up here and we'll see all the thumbnails of people wearing a short sleeve black shirt and that are male. So if we click on a thumbnail, it'll take us right back to the recorded video of where that thumbnail is grabbed from. We can pause play uh, right from here. We can also go to detected information. This is gonna show all the attributes that that camera detected when it found that human, not just what we were searching for, but all the other attributes. Uh, we can also go to camera info. This will tell us the make and model of the camera and what server it's on. We can also go to map and it'll show us where that camera is located on the map if that's integrated. So let's go ahead and clear this and we'll go to vehicle. So we'll click the arrow for vehicle. We can search by seven different vehicles, 10 different colors, and then also moving direction of that vehicle. So if we do a general search, again, uh, this is going to go out and grab all the thumbnails uh, of vehicles that we found. And you'll see here, you'll see trucks, SUVs, cars, uh, any type of vehicle that we found. So we'll scroll down um, to show a couple different things. Um, we'll do a, a filter search of this red vehicle right here just because it kind of stands out. Uh, so we'll do vehicle, a sedan, and then we'll choose the color red. Uh, hit search and it should narrow down our search to red sedans and there might be more than just the one that we uh, looked at. Uh, so here's all the red sedans and as you can see it picked out all the red sedans. If we click on that thumbnail, again it takes us back to recorded video where we can pause, play, rewind, fast forward. So we can see the, the red car that went by at the very top of that video image. We'll back up just a little bit so you can see that vehicle here. If you go over, uh, you can zoom in, but if you go over to the right it's going to show you that we found a red sedan. Uh, and the camera as well, uh, the make model, and then where that's at. And if you have that camera located on the map, you would also see that as well. So let's clear that search and go to face. So we'll search for myself because I know my face is in here and I come in and come in and out of the office quite often. So search for my name, there I am. I grab my face and we'll do a search. Now what you're gonna see here is that actually we're not gonna see any results because I wasn't there on these days. So let's adjust the dates because I know I was here on July 22nd, Monday. So we'll do a search and what you'll find is that we still won't find any search results. And I do this specifically for a reason to show you that you can narrow down your searches. So just because we don't get any results doesn't mean there's no faces for this person. So we'll lower our accuracy threshold down and then we'll get more results. Sometimes those results will be less accurate, but you'll get more results. So here I am again, we click on that thumbnail and we'll see the video associated with my face that was found. We'll pause the video. We can look at detected information, camera information, as well as map. So if that map is integrated, you'll know where that camera was located and where that person was identified. So that's the face detection search. Let's go down to LPR. We now have LPR integrated and we can see license plate information and again, make, model, and color of vehicles. So we'll do a general search of uh, LPR of anywhere we found a plate and also that image of that vehicle. So you can see the images of the vehicle and then the plate reading uh, at the bottom of that. So we'll search for that blue uh, vehicle down there. Uh, we'll, we're gonna enter in a partial plate because I saw that there. So let's say somebody gives you an example of a partial plate. So this plate ends in LPR uh, or L4R. And we'll put a percent sign there. We're gonna search for a uh, blue uh, car. Uh, we'll do a search and then we found our car there. So this license plate has the L4R in it. Again, we can pause, play. If we go over to, uh, we can also zoom in and see that that plate is correct. If we go to detected information, we'll see the type of car uh, and also the brand as in the Audi and then also our uh, camera information uh, where that camera is located. 
Um, so that is the Active Guard plugin for Video Insight. I hope you found this useful. Um, the LPR piece is a little bit new, so if you didn't know you could do wildcard searches or search for make and model of vehicles, uh, we can now do that. Thank you for watching.